looks delicious. Hey Matt, what are you eating? Just having a sandwich. What kind of sandwich is it? It looks delicious. It's my favorite tuna and cheese sandwich. My mom makes it for me every Wednesday. What are you eating, Chris? Just some rice and chicken. Looks delicious as well. It looks delicious, but it doesn't taste delicious. What do you mean? My dad makes my lunch every Wednesday, but his cooking isn't the best. It tastes a little bland. I see. Your mom must be a good cook because your sandwich looks delicious. Yeah, she's a great cook. I love her cooking. She cooks a lot of delicious foods for me. You're so lucky. Why? Isn't your mum a good cook? Unfortunately, my mum's cooking is worse than my dad. I see. Favorite food. Matt, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, that's easy. I love pancakes. Pancakes. That's interesting. Why pancakes? Well, I always love the soft taste of pancakes. They're so fluffy and soft to eat. Even if I think about it, my mouth drools. Pancakes are quite good, but it's not that delicious. What are you talking about? Of course they're delicious. Eh, I kind of disagree. What do you mean you disagree? How can you not like pancakes? They're not that delicious. You know, it's only pancakes. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that pancakes? Aren't delicious? Yeah, I suppose I am. Okay, then let me ask you a question. Sure, go ahead. Have you tried any other type of pancakes? What do you mean? There is only one type of pancake: the American flapjack pancake with syrup on top. No, 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 no. That is incorrect. There are many, many types of pancakes. Have you ever tried a cinnamon pancake? No. A raspberry with vanilla ice cream pancake? No. A chocolate cherry pancake with chocolate ice cream on top? Of course not. But that does sound pretty delicious. Wait, did you say chocolate ice cream on top? <laughs> Yeah, why? Because chocolate ice cream is my favorite food. Seriously? How can you not like chocolate ice cream? Well, I prefer vanilla ice cream, to be honest. Vanilla? No way! Chocolate is way better. Then how about I take you to my favorite pancake store?、Yeah! We can order a chocolate cherry pancake with chocolate ice cream on top. Sound good? Sounds like a plan.、Yeah! What's for breakfast? Rio, you're from Japan, right? Yes, I am. What do Japanese people usually eat for breakfast? Well, it depends. Some people have a piece of bread and coffee, but other people have rice and fish with miso soup. Interesting. What's miso soup? How can I explain it? 
Hmm, it's a fermented paste made from a mix of soybeans and sea salt. You're confusing me. I don't understand the meaning of fermented. What does fermented mean? It's quite tricky to explain, but to put it simply, it's a chemical process that breaks a substance into a smaller substance. Foods like beer, wine, kimchi, yogurt are also made through this process of fermentation. Whoa, you're pretty smart, Rio. Thanks. I read a lot on the internet. Anyway, as you can see, Japanese people's breakfast are usually healthy and simple. So, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Well. I usually have some raisin bread and a cup of tea. Is that all? It doesn't sound like a lot. Aren't you still hungry? No, surprisingly, I don't get hungry. Sometimes I even skip breakfast. What? You skip breakfast? But breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I know, but sometimes I wake up late and don't have time to eat breakfast. How about you, Matt? What do you usually eat for breakfast? Where do I begin? Well, I start with two eggs, then a bowl of sugary cereal. After that, three strips of bacon, and then two slices of bread with three hash browns. And finally, two pancakes and a chocolate donut to finish off. That doesn't sound healthy at all. It may not be healthy, but breakfast is still the most important meal of the day. Uh, okay, Matt. <laughs> Strangest food. Hey, what's the strangest food you have ever eaten? The strangest food? That's an interesting question. Let me think. I know. It was durian. Durian? I think I've heard of it before. Tell me again. Durian is a fruit, and it mainly comes from Thailand, Malaysia, Borneo, and Sumatra. It's also known as the king of fruits. It's quite big. Some can grow up to thirty centimeters long and fifteen centimeters in diameter. It's covered with a lot of thorns, so you got to be careful when holding them. Ow! Interesting. When I visited Singapore last summer, a friend took me to the local fruit market and bought one. We then went to her place, and she prepared it for me. But I didn't expect what would happen next. As soon as she cut open the durian, there was an intense and overpowering smell. What kind of smell? Let's just say the smell made me really nauseous. It smelled like smelly socks dipped in rotten onions and eggs. It smells so bad. That it's even banned on Singapore's public transport system. Seriously, that bad? Ah, sounds horrible. Trust me, it's way worse. But what does it taste like? Now this is where it gets interesting. It's surprisingly really tasty if the durian is ripe. Really? Weird, right? It's a strange mix of sweet, creamy, and savory flavors. The best way to describe the taste is like eating onions, almonds, and caramel cheese all mixed together. There is no other fruits or even foods that have this taste. Wow! Now I want to try some. Actually, now that you mentioned it. I can ask my friend to send me some durians. Would you like to try some? Of course. 
as long as I can wear a gas mask. <laughs> Cooking hungry. I'm getting a little hungry, aren't you? Yeah, a little. Shall we get something to eat? No, not tonight. I think I'll head back and cook something at home. Oh, are you a good cook? I think I am. So, what's the best food you can cook? I can cook homemade lasagna very well. It's my specialty. Ooh, that sounds impressive. How about you? Are you a good cook? I'm a terrible cook. The only thing I can cook is boiled eggs and toast. But I wish I could cook. It could save me a lot of money and make me healthier too. Then, do you want to come over for dinner? I can teach you how to cook my homemade lasagna if you want. Really? Are you sure about that? Yeah, come over. It'll be a lot of fun. Plus, we can enjoy a nice meal together. Let's do it! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Okay, see you next time. Bye!